Hello everyone, I am Sam Al Muhammadi, famous for Nasi Hami. Welcome to our new tutorial. This time I am going to show you how to make animation with hierarchies. Here in this living room, we have two objects that we need to animate. This door here on the left and the ceiling fan. The idea is to make the plates of this ceiling fan spin around its body. Then pull down the door handle lever, then the door opens. So let's start to animate the fan. Press C and choose cam fan, then click OK. The ceiling fan will zoom in. Our goal is to make the blade rotate around the body of the fan. When we select on the individual blades, you will see that the pivots are centered on each blade. We know this shouldn't be the way the blade fans rotate. So the solution is we need to link the three plates with the fan body to make it a single entity or it will rotate around the fan body. Let's take a look on how the linking method works. Linking creates a parent shield relationship which means that if you move or rotate the fan body which is the parent the blade move with it. But if you move or rotate the blades which are children only the blades move or rotate, not the fan body itself. The children, which are the blades, inherit the pivot from the parent or fan body in this linking method. Now, let's start by selecting each fan blade by pressing CTRL then select by clicking each plate. In the main toolbar, select the link tool. Then click on one of the selected blade and drag the body of the fan. Now select the fan body and rotate to the X axis. This is to test the link. Let's check the created link we didn't by clicking on. The toggle scene explorer icon, this window pops out click on the fan body. You can see the fan body is the parent and this place are its children. Let's proceed to the animation of the fan. Turn on the animation mode by clicking Auto key. Click on the fan body, then press key to set the first keyframe. Drag the slide bar to frame 20 and rotate the fan through X axis for about 90 degrees. As you can see, the blades rotate for 90 degrees in 20 frames and after then nothing happens anymore. You can also check by clicking play button. Now let's click on curve editor on toolbar view to open the track view curve editor. Right click on toolbar shoes, load layout function, curve layout lesson. Click on the rotation to see only the Z axis track. It shows rotation only between frames 0 and 20. Go to the Edit menu, select controller, then click out of range types. This offers different ways to loop animation. In the dialog, select relative, repeat this loop, the animation, by adding extra rotation every 20 frames. Let's minimize this window, then click play. As we click play, we can now see the blade rotate without stopping.
However, the blades speed up and slow down, which doesn't look smooth at all. A constant speed would be more realistic. Let's open again the track view, curve editor table, select all the keyframes and set their tangents to linear. Now we can see that the curved line becomes a straight line. Then let's click exit. Now let's check by clicking on play. We can see now the animation that we did. Finally, that fan blades spin continuously at a constant speed. Let's proceed this time for our door animation. Press C to open the camera. Click onto the camera for door. Our animation aim is to pull the handle down, then immediately open the door. Again, we need to link the handle with the door. Select the handle. In the main toolbar, select the link to click on the handle and drag to the door. Let's try rotating it in X axis. You can see that the handle moves with the door. Turn on the animation mode by clicking on Auto key. Click on the handle and press key to set the first key frame. Move the slide bar to frame 15. Rotate the handle about 90 degrees. As you can see, the handle rotates 90 degrees in 50 frames. While at frame 15, click on the door, press K to set the first key frame. Go to frame 80, then rotate the door as the X axis for about 65 degrees. Let's check. You can see that as the handle falls down, the door opens. Click play animation to see the animation again. Now press C and choose the living room camera. Click the play button to see the animation that we just did. The ceiling fence spins around, then as the door handle pulls down, the door opens at the same time. There goes our finished animation. Thanks for watching. See you till our next tutorial. Bye.